I saw this turtle kite one time, and dude, I, I think about it a lot more than I probably should. Turtle kite? Like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? No, no, it was a cartoon turtle, kind of, but it was more, it wasn't them. So it didn't have a sword or even nunchucks? No, it was kind of the opposite. It was just flying free. Hell yeah, fly free, little turtle. Exactly, he was flying above the beach at, at uh, La Bush. Oh, it was a couple, yeah, just so long ago. So it was this beautiful. couple flying it. And I had to tell him, I was like, hey, congratulations. Like, you, that is the greatest kite that anyone's ever seen. It's kind of obvious though. I mean, you can't go wrong with a turtle. Yeah, it's a real mystery that kite manufacturers don't put out more turtle kites. Those big kite companies have a stranglehold on the whole industry. Yeah, it's as bad as big pharma, big kites. It does bother me that our government is owned by big kite money. Yeah, that sucks. Big kite. Um, this guy, this turtle was flying free. He was just up there, like in the breeze. He was just so free. Yeah, I can just imagine it. It sounds really peaceful. Yeah, just sit back. He's just flying over your head, you know, way up there in the sky. Not a care in the world. Yeah, it's nice. Like the, you know, the salty air. Seagulls probably in the background. Yeah, it was all of that. And I was there with this girl that I just barely begun seeing. And, um, and then... <laughs> oh, oh, no. What happened? <laughs> so we're sitting on a log and this guy walks by with a dog and her bag was sitting next to her. <laughs> it happened so quickly. <laughs> oh no, dude, what happened? Okay. <laughs> she did not deserve, deserve this, okay? She didn't deserve this, all right? <laughs> deserve what? <laughs> so the dog owner kept going and the dog stopped and sniffed her bag for just a second and then just did the quickest rapid fire piss right onto her bag and then ran off. Oh no, dude. <laughs> I just never seen a dog do that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was marking the bag as its territory. Maybe, yeah, it's like the dog is like, this she this bitch belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. It had to be something like like that. I, it was just so weird. That just sucks. So <laughs> what did the owner do? <laughs> it's one of those situations where the dog lagged behind. The owner was way. I mean, he was. You just heard a whistle in the distance, and then the dog took off. That dude never even saw what the dog did. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a really exciting day. <laughs> yeah, the turtle kite really saved the day. Maybe that dog was warning you. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know what was going on there. Um, it didn't, that relationship didn't last very long, and uh, the end of it wasn't that fun either. Oh, yeah. Is it ever fun when it ends? <laughs> oh, yeah. Not in my case. Not back then. I was a hurt individual, and I was busy hurting everybody else. Yeah. What can you do? What the, you know, hurt people hurt people, right? Sorry to bust in with a little commercial here. Um, wow, now I don't even know what I'm doing. I was gonna say, I was gonna take back the like and subscribe thing and encourage people to do that and try and get this video to a million views. Then I thought, you know, a lot of people don't even click unless, unless it's like 100 million views. Do we, need, do we need that? And then I thought, well, I see a lot of dog shit videos that have millions of views. Um, not my place to judge anyway. Now we're getting into deeper waters. So then further thinking about it, go back to the original stance. We don't care about likes and views. <laughs> All right, people, we don't want to get trapped with that. Sorry for interrupting. Let's go. Back to our regularly scheduled program. I was in this writing class at a community college for trying to get like a graphic design degree. What does writing have to do with um, graphic design? But I mean, writing's cool. I love writing. I love writing. That being said, this class, till recently, thinking about it, this class, you know what, actually the class is fucking bullshit, but <laughs> this guy Dan that Fuck I met that in the class, class showed me a whole different way of seeing things. Tell me about this bullshit class. Well, the thing that I learned about it was more about my personality. You know, the class was bullshit. It was a piece of shit class and I'm busy fighting it. I'm like, dude, I can't believe this is going on. You, you know, I'm fighting you, it right you, and left. The teacher's fight. a fucking idiot. These assignments are boring as fuck. You could add, you know, blah, blah, blah. I fight it. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh shit, Huxley, I love you, but yeah, dude, don't fight that class. Fuck that class. All right, so there's this guy, Dan, in class. He's kind of like one of those intellectual guys. Um, I don't know, we immediately hit it off. Uh, um, and he starts telling me about how he approached all the assignments. He just completely bullshitted his way through all of it, just to entertain himself. He completely transcended the class. <laughs> oh my God, that's fucking awesome. I mean, one of the stories that you read in class was all about, you know, visiting his like relatives down in New Orleans or something in Louisiana. And he had every detail down to what they ate. And he had the entire class captivated and it was all made up. <laughs> that's badass. While I was busy being disappointed in that class through my own expectations, he was out creating, creating stories and shit. That's what I should have been doing. Just make shit up, dude. You, you of all people should have just make, been making shit up. You do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, I was taking it way too serious, dude. And it was just <laughs> what a bullshit class. <laughs> dude, time is ticking by, man. Just make shit up. <laughs> My friend Colin used to always call him Elvis. Every time I brought Dan up, he'd be like, oh, Elvis? And I had no idea what he's talking about. Elvis? <laughs> yeah, I, I had no idea what he was talking about. And then it turned out one day, he was like, his glasses. Yeah, Dan always wore these glasses, but they were the same glasses that Brad Pitt wore in Fight Club. So I just immediately thought Fight Club. And not in a million years would I think Elvis. Elvis. <laughs> so, uh... I was in ceramics at that time, and I told Dan all about ceramics, and then he was telling me about his history of sculpting and all this stuff, and then... All right, ceramics is cool. <laughs> yeah, ceramics is cool. <laughs> it's so cool that you tell your friend Dan, hey, you should take that class. And then he does and ends up dropping his major, whatever, the whole reason he's there, to become a nurse tech and goes into ceramics and then goes off to real college to finish it. Oh, what are you doing, dude? It's like, being a nurse tech is important. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, but also, so was making pots. I mean, and so was making bowls. What did you eat cereal out of today? Oh, oh, you got me, dude. Bowls are important. It's kind of a bad example because when I was talking to him about that ceramic class, he pulls his phone out and he shows me all these sculptures that he's done in the past. And that's the whole reason where I was like, dude, you need to take this class, dude. And also, there wasn't a bowl in sight. <laughs> I mean, as a nurse tech, too, you're not making bowls. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple years after all that stuff, writing class, all that shit, um, I get an email from Dan and he's like, dude, look, you ruined my life. Now I'm, I'm majoring in ceramics at Wazoo. I was supposed to be a nurse tech. <laughs> Maybe it's just, his destiny or fate or something Don't like that. It. I mean, it's your destiny. How do we, any of us, get to where we're at right this moment, you know? Actually, I mean, I was talking shit about that writing class, but it gave me like multiple friendships, all these crazy experiences, just that class and school in general. Dude, it was so, I was just on such a fast forward, like, I gotta get on to the next thing that I just wasn't, wasn't, I didn't even know about the present moment back then. Damn, I was never in the present moment. The present moment is all we really have. I mean, that's the word on the street. It's true. I've had a lot of present moments fly by while I was busy not being in the present moment. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. Time's an illusion anyway. It is. The future doesn't exist. The past is gone. All we have is the moment of now. So I'm gonna go enjoy the present moment right now. Do it, man. Enjoy the hell out of the present moment. 